Oh, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We lift your name on high. We lift your name on high. We're seeking your face. Seeking your face. We love you, oh Lord. We love you, oh Lord. Praise your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, praise your name. Hallelujah, praise your name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hosanna, praise us to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Hosanna. Praises to the King of Kings. Praises to the King of Kings. Yes, we just lay everything down right now in front of you, Lord. Hosanna. Hosanna. Praises to the King of kings, praises to the Lord of lords, Hosanna, Hosanna. Praises to the King of kings. Praises to the Lord of lords. Hosanna. Hosanna. Praises to the King of Kings. Praises to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. I want to sing it again, but I just wanted to tell you that while we're singing that, there are an uh, angelic beings and they're uh, they're they're twirling, but they, um, I'm not sure part of their garment that, um, I'm not not totally sure, Lord, but it's part of the skirt part of their garment, and it's they have long pants on. They're long. It's hard to explain. If I could say it this way, it's like they're wearing a bodysuit, and it's all white, but they have this part that goes over top of it that's like a skirt, but it's. It, you know what I said it before and that that's he's reminding me again I said it before where the angels how they looked like that um uh the sky dancer little toy mm -hmm. how they have but they're not yeah. flying upward but they when they spin their skirts come out at like a propeller almost on each mm -hmm. side you know what I'm trying to say 
standing out to the right and the left and as they're twirling and spinning and it's like ballet because they come up on their toes and they spin and they come back down you know um I forget what the the foot position but it, it's like first position second position you know they're they're doing that whole movement and it's just so beautiful and they're going around and 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 I want to say a circle, but I honestly can't tell if it ends back at itself or if I'm just seeing, you know, this just a portion of it. But it's just beautiful. But they're singing. But I just noticed their feet remind me of the ballerinas, how they come up and do that twirl on their toes and they lay their feet all the way flat back down. And it's just beautiful. But they're dancing to the sound of Hosanna, because as we said before, that means praises to our God. And so as we're singing Hosanna, just know that you're singing praises to him. Praises, and the angels are, are just picking up that praise and they're just dancing before the King of Kings. And that, that is very precious. That is very precious. Uh, Lord, I just thank you. Uh, we just want to give you praise. We're going to sing it. And it's really very simple. It's just Hosanna, praises to our, to the King of Kings, praises to the Lord of Lords. That, that's it. It's just, it's, those are the words that just fell in my spirit. So that, that's what I'm singing. Hosanna. Hosanna. Praises to the King of Kings. Praises to the Lord of Lords. Hosanna. Hosanna. Praises to the King of Kings. Praises to the Lord of Lords. Hosanna. Hosanna. Praises to the King of Kings. Praises to the Lord of Lords. Hosanna. I hear the Lord saying, fan the flame. Hosanna. And uh, praises to the King of Kings, praises to the Lord of oh, Lords. Again, Hosanna. And, uh, Hosanna. And now, praises to the King of oh. Kings, praises to the Lord of oh. oh, Lords. It's Jesus, Hosanna. And now, oh, Hosanna. And now, praises to the King of Kings, praises to the Lord of Lords. We'll sing Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, praises to the King 
talking to me hallelujah and he said <laughs> he said don't you just love to be serenaded <laughs> mm -hmm. he loves to, for us to serenade him he he sings songs about us mm -hmm. it's amazing and when we sing songs to him he's like don't you just love that and I was like he just loves it and I know we would love it too we love it too he sings wonderful songs over us and then the second thing, what was the second thing you said, Jesus? Thank you, Lord. That you're just laying everything down. Hallelujah. If we empty ourselves of self and we put our mind on him, he comes in and he fills us. He fills us everything that we need. We don't have to think, I need to make sure I get prayer for this or prayer for that. Receive it in the worship when you're worshiping him mm -hmm. because he's right there. He's mm -hmm. right there. He's right there. He says that he, he says, I am, that he is, I am. I am, I am that I am. Um, Just FYI, before anybody's calling Marjorie, she had to do something, but I let her know. She had wanted to know if it was recording. I said that it is recording. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That did that. I let her know that it is recording. Um, So that is why she's not here, um, or maybe not answering. She did have something she needed to do with her um, parents. <laughs> but Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. When we put our mind on him, we begin to receive him. We begin to breathe him in. And he begins to come in. And as my father loved to say, he come in and sup with us. He comes in and to be everything that you need him to be. He comes in to be everything that you need him to be. If we just put our mind on him and who he is, not necessarily what our need is because he knows our needs. But that also is that trust. God, I know. I know that you're going to take care of everything I need. I'm just seeking you and loving on you. And I know the great exchange is you are doing, you're loving me back. You're correcting all the things that I need corrected. You're pouring into me the things that I need poured into me. You're pouring into me the wisdom that I need, that I crave, the direction that I need, that I crave the intimacy with you that I need, that I crave. You're pouring into me correction. You're pouring into me love. You're pouring into me direction. You're pouring into me love to pour into others. You're healing my soul because I, I trust you for those things. I believe you for those things. <sighs> Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I want us to change the words. Can I hear the Lord saying, first he said, ask him. So we're going to ask him. We're going to sing it. Fill me up. Because we want him to pour in. Pour in him. Pour in more of him. Pour in his spirit. Pour in his glory. Pour in his fire, his oil, his anointing. We want him to pour in him. And then, and he, he says, ask. Ask him. And so we're going to ask him in that same way, but in song. So very simple. Fill me up. 
Fill fill me up, Jesus, fill me up, oh Lord, Jesus, fill me up, oh Lord. Two more times. Fill me up. Fill me up, Jesus, fill me up, oh Lord, Jesus, fill me up, oh Lord, one more time, fill me up. Fill me up, Jesus, fill me up, oh Lord, Jesus, fill me up, oh I just want you to cry out to him right now. I want you to just listen 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 to what he's saying to you listen to what what his presence is saying listen here because we're going to now just sit and just listen i'm going to hum because i i always hum or sing you know I, that's just how i do if you just want to sit quietly you can if whatever it is but we're just in his presence right now we just want him to speak to us and begin to direct us and and move us and move and move us in the right direction and just speak a word to us. And if anybody hears anything to share, please don't hesitate to share it. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do this until I feel like the Lord's shifting. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, I just thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, let's be obedient before you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for speaking, oh Lord. Thank you for speaking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I receive, I receive you. I receive you, oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the name. Holy, 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 Praise your name, Jesus. Jesus just singing, he's singing it back and saying, Surrender, surrender, for you who played your life is down, you have played your life. He lies down and pick them up. I 
pick them up. Mighty works will be done. Mighty works will be done. You're just singing it back. Hallelujah, same melody. Hallelujah. Praise his name. We surrender to you. We surrender. We surrender all things. We surrender. We surrender all things, Jesus. Thank you for picking up our lives. Thank you for picking up our lives. Oh, Weighty cost. That's what I'm hearing you say. Weighty cost lies purified by my gold. Lies purified by my blood. Weighty cost, weighty cost, hallelujah. Praise your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for seeing your servants, Lord, for seeing your people, hallelujah. Praise your name, praise your name, praise your name. We just invite you to have your way, to speak, to move to rearrange, to change, hallelujah, 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 Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, thank you, Jesus, majesty, worship his majesty song keeps coming to me, that was Loretta, hallelujah, 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 Jesus, you know that song, mom, what is it, majesty, worship his majesty, beautiful, Worship his majesty. Unto Jesus. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We all glory, power, and praise. Majesty. Kingdom authority flow from his throne unto his own it's on the way oh exalt lift up on high the name of Jesus, magnify, come glorify, Christ Jesus, the King. Yes, Lord. Majesty. Worship his majesty, Jesus who died, now glorified, King of all kings. Hallelujah, yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Worship yes, yes, yes. his majesty. Thank you. I could not remember the melody at all. Hallelujah, that's an old one. Praise your name, Jesus. Let us worship your majesty. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship your majesty, your majesty, yes, you're glorious, you're so glorious, 
We give you praise, you worthy. Hallelujah. You worthy, you worthy, you worthy. Mom, I'm sorry. We, are you, is your microphone on by your chair? No. Okay, don't, don't. Okay. But we're going to sing. What's that? I need to get a drink of water if we don't sing that, Jesus. Oh, I almost choke. <laughs> We're going to sing, um, I don't even know what it's called. It's a Maranatha song. Okay. Um, and I don't know which part I'm taking, but we're going to sing the birds in the sky. Oh. Praise Lord, the Lord. Praise you, Lord. Yes. As he said, he says, happen. sing that. We can, we're going to sing that. It's We're going to sing that song, but it's better if we're both on the same See, um, tone? same oh, mic. Okay. Yeah, same mic, so it doesn't, oh, we're not okay. off or delayed. I switched the chair up. Okay, you put your in the back. Oh, let me get it for you. Okay. I can stand. You can sit here. Thank you. Praise your name, Jesus. We're gonna what's it called? Praise you, Lord. I want to praise you, Lord. I want to praise you, Lord. It's by the Maranatha. Go ahead. No, I'm gonna cramp my okay, you stand up. Okay. Praise you, Lord. You might want to. Okay, let me let me just real quick. Jesus, we thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, we just love you, Jesus. We want to be so obedient. I can take the guys. Let me make that bigger. Yes, I can take the guys' role if you want. Okay. <clears throat> Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. I want to praise you, Lord. Much more than I do, I want to praise you, Lord. Much more than I do to learn to seek your face and the knowledge of your grace. I want to praise you. I want to praise you, Lord. Much more than I do, I want to praise you, Lord. Much more than I do, learn to seek your face and the knowledge of your grace. I want to. I want to know. You were here, baby. I know, but that's the verse right there. Yeah, but see, you echo that. Hold on, let's do it again. Want to know you much more than I do, I want to know you, Lord. Much more than I do, to learn to seek your face and the knowledge of your grace. I want to know who you praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. I want to love you, Lord, much more than I do. I want to love you, Lord, much more than I do. To learn to seek your face and the knowledge of your grace. I want to love of you. I want to serve you, Lord, much more than I do. I want to serve you, Lord, much more than I do. To learn to seek your face and the knowledge of your grace. I want to serve you. 
I want to praise you, Lord. Much more than I do, I want to praise you, Lord. Much more than I do to learn to seek your face and the knowledge of your grace. I want to know oh, you. We can do. I want to, yeah. Birds in the sky sing their songs to you. Trees in the fields lift their arms to you. And I want to sing, and I want to lift my arms to you. Birds in the sky, sing their songs to you. Trees in the field, lift their arms to you. And I want to sing, and I want to lift my arms to you. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise you, 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 Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. you, Lord. We want to praise you. Since I want to praise you, Lord, much more than I do, I want to praise you, Lord, much more than I do to learn to seek your face and the knowledge of your grace. I want to praise you. And then it goes back and forth between I want to praise you and birds in the sky. They sing their songs to you. Trees in the field lift their arms to you. And I want to sing and I want to lift my arms to you. I want to know you, Lord, much more than I do. I want to know you, Lord, much more than I do to learn to seek your face and the knowledge of your grace. I want to know you and I want to love you, Lord, much more than I do. I want to love you, Lord, much more than I do to learn to seek your face and the knowledge of your grace. I want to love you and I want to serve you, Lord, much more than I do. I want to serve you, Lord, much more than I do to learn to seek your face and the knowledge of your grace. I want to serve you. I want to praise you, Lord, much more than I do. I want to praise you, Lord, much more than I do to learn to seek your face and the knowledge of your grace. I want to know you. And the Holy Spirit is, is revealing to me the reason why it says birds in the sky sing our songs to you. Because that's the, that's what they do constantly. Birds in the sky sing their songs to you. Trees in the field lift their arms. Trees are always have their arms lifted. Mm -hmm. So the comparison, why they put that verse there, because I actually never knew this. I just like that part. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. But he's saying the reason why that said, why it's making the comparison is I want to do better. Because the birds in the sky, they're singing their songs to you. That's a constant. Mm -hmm. The trees in the field, they're lifting their arms to you. That's a constant. And I want to sing. And I want to lift my arms to you. Like they're showing me up. I want to do better. Mm -hmm. And that's what the whole song's about. I want to love you more, much more than I do. I want to serve you, Lord, much more than I do. I want to seek you, Lord, much more than I do. I want to know you, Lord, much more than I do. And I love that it says, learn to seek your face and the knowledge of your grace. And not come to a place where I just know how to do this. I just take, you know, not trying to go further. I'm, you know, in that stale place, stale and stagnant, you know, and this... <laughs> One of the things that the Lord was has been talking about is that the old ways aren't going to work in this new. The old ways that we did things aren't going to work. The old ways that the church did things isn't going to work. Those old wineskins aren't going to work. They're going to burst. They're going to fall out. They're going to be inadequate. They're not going to be. They're not going to be capable of going into this new and the Lord's just been showing us. I know since we started for me, <laughs> since we started breaking the mold, he's been breaking that box, breaking the mold about how you're supposed to gather in the presence of the Lord. How is the church service supposed to look? How is all these things? He is 
just knocked the dominoes down one after the other. He's broken and destroyed and obliterated that box. Sometimes his presence is just ready to go. And then we end up praising him midway through. <laughs> Sometimes we're praising him. And then he's like, now I'm going to begin speaking and talking. And it, it just is all about being moved by the impulses of the Holy Spirit, being moved by the impulses of the Lord. And that was something I lamented about in the beginning was, Lord, I don't have a worship team. I don't have a this. I don't have blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It's going to be inadequate. It's not going to be right. It's not going to be enough. It's not going to be what it should be for you. And really, he continued to say, all I want you to do is to be obedient. All I want you to do is to trust me. When he told me to sing, and I didn't sing that one time. Boy, I lost my voice almost, <laughs> almost immediately afterwards. <laughs> lost my voice. I was like, okay, I'm never going to not do that. I'm just, if you tell me to do it, I'm just going to do it if you tell me to do it. I'm like, Lord, I don't really sing. He was like, he was like I didn't ask you that. I, I'm looking for you to be obedient. Praise his name. I mean, it's been a journey. But all of it that he's done is to provide us a foundation for what, what we're coming into. And what he's doing, what how he's moving, what he's saying. And, and the religion is being knocked down because it, yes, because it's stagnant and it, he's not able to flow and move the way you would like to, because if he could have, you know, the body of Christ wouldn't be looking the way that it does. It wouldn't be powerless. It wouldn't be hopeless. It wouldn't look like the world, but just to seek him. Not even seeking a message, but literally just seeking him. And he is the message. He is the way. And I just hear it in the spirit. This is the way. That's not right. <laughs> did you hear it? Too? I did. I just hear this is the way. And it's like a it's like an angel stands right there. As soon as we get that point, he's like, This is the way. <laughs> this is the way. The way, the truth, and the life. Ooh. Woo. Yes, Lord. Ooh. Thank you, Lord. This is the way. It's like I keep getting addicted to saying it because every time I say it, I just feel the presence of God just drop. <laughs> He's the way. He is. Yes. He is the way. He's the door. He's the key. He's the path. He's the map. He's the destination. He's the journey. <laughs> Praise his name. Oh my goodness. He is. Yes. He is. He is. Oh. Which you going to Eric Lundy? Eric Ludy. Ludy. I would call him his last name anything. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ludy. He's just going to be what I call him. I'm so sorry. I'm going to take the time to read his last name. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, he's, Jesus, I make my angels laugh. <laughs> And me too. <laughs> he said, you make them laugh. <laughs> I'm glad they get a kick out of me. Because <laughs> I've been messing up people's names. I'm so sorry. <laughs> right. <laughs> Lord, I just thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you are the way. You are the light. You are the truth. You are the answer. Oh, you're the answer. You are the way, you are the light. You are the truth, you are the answer. You are the answer. And when I don't know what to do, all I need to know is you. Hallelujah, the answer, the answer is you, hallelujah, I could barely sing that because I wanted to smile so badly, <laughs> Jesus, you are the answer, you're the way, you are everything I ever needed, I ever needed, 
You are the wind in my sail. You are the sail to my boat that you put me in. You're the sail, you're the wind. Oh, direct my heart, direct my path, direct my heart. Don't let me wander, direct my eyes, direct my path, oh Lord, don't let me wander, you are the answer, you are everything I need. You're the answer, you are everything I wanted, you, you are the future, you are everything, you're everything, you're everything I need, you're everything. You're everything, you're everything. You are the ground beneath my feet. You are the air beneath my wings. You are everything, you're everything I need. You are the one who wipes my tears. You are the one who comes and casts away my fears. You are everything, you're everything, you're everything. You are the breath in my whisper. You're the thought that I ponder. You're everything, you're everything, you're everything, you're everything. You're everything, everything I need. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. You're everything that I need. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Thank you, Jesus, for being everything. You're everything. You are everything. Hallelujah. 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 Praise your name, praise your name, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, oh, thank you, Jesus. Praise you, praise you, praise you, Jesus. Praise you, praise you, praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus was telling me something. He said, and he showed me the piercings in his hands and, and 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 the blood that was just flowing out from that huge piercing in his hand. And he and he was saying, these hands, oh, when his hands were pierced, he he brought what he won back was our our authority our ability to reach others to touch others to take the authority upon what we touch the redemption that we received from the piercing of his hands and and and, and the piercing in his feet hallelujah hallelujah what, what you tread upon what you walk upon our authority in which we stand they have so many meanings why he did things the way he did. Why he did things the way he did. Hallelujah. I just see him. I see pages just flowing. Like someone taking a book and and um, like a flip book. If you get just and flipping the pages. He said he and he as he, I see the pages going by, he said, I have so many reasons. 
And I have so many reasons and it's just written down. And as he flipped those pages by, I know that book that he's turning those pages to of all the reasons as to why. So many reasons. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I was actually talking to my children about this the other day, about the day that the angels cried and were at the table. And I was talking about the day that the angels cried and how they had to trust Papa God because they watched the word Jesus be brutally mutilated. Yeah mutilated and, and 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 marred and and they operated in such restraint obedience mm -hmm. to God because if they had it their way they would have struck Satan down they it would have been an all-out war but their obedience was to God and to allow what happened happen mm -hmm. and that broke their hearts to see Jesus, who they called the word, and some still call him the word, mm -hmm. to see him tore up like that. Mm -hmm. And then to watch as he was as he ascended in into Abraham's bosom and then into hell, just straight on down into hell first actually when he ascended or sorry yes descended thank you as he had descended down into hell and just the watching they're just watching and they have they go to papa god and they're just like tell me again will you say it again and papa god's just telling them remember this <laughs> <laughs> it's coming out again this is the way this is the way the plan. you know the bible says that that the angels want to know what is it about these people what is it about this earth mm -hmm. and these people they that you them. yeah that you love them so much that all of this not that they were questioning god they just want to know because you know that's a limited it's what what do i always say need to know basis they are his servants. They are not his children. No. They are his servants. They love God. They love Papa God. They love Jesus. They love Holy Spirit. And they cried. They cried. When Papa God turned his face from Jesus... The they were devastated. The risen one is splendor. Jehovah's soul. Divided. The shaking in the spirit realm was intense. They were devastated. And they had to stand firm. It's going to be. He's never lied. You are a good God. You have never lied. He's going to be okay. He's going to come back. He's going to be here redeemed. Holy Spirit waiting for Papa God to say now. Jesus waiting. There's no time in the spirit realm, by the way. There's time on earth. We know it as the third day. But what did it feel like to Jesus? In eternity? I don't know. But he waited. He knew. And he had to trust too. Trust and believe. He said he's acquainted. He knows. Yes. He knows what it's like to trust when everything looks like it's done, gone to straight to hell. He knows what it's like to sit and wait what it's like to see others you know flourishing because they could see abraham's bosom from from 
from where they are. So the gate of hell can, the people in Abraham's bosom could see the gates of hell. That's how they're able, that's how they're able to see the guy asking for some water. All of that. So that it's like to see them flourish and prosper when Jesus is ab absolutely blameless and actually has done nothing wrong. And, and of course, the demons are all just talking smack and doing everything they can to mentally annihilate him in his mind. Yes. But I love how Kat Kerr tells a portion of it that, that I actually did not know before she you know, told it that Satan was afraid to mess with him because it was like, well, we're just going to wait, wait it out, mm -hmm. you know, and make yeah. sure that this ain't some kind of trick, you know? Right, right. And as he waited and waited and waited, and then he thought, okay, we're going to bring him out here in the front. And that way, Abraham's bosom will have a perfect viewing of us mm -hmm. now going to torture him and do all this stuff. Right. And the hierarchy were all there. And I bet the earth was a bit peaceful at that time since it was all dark, ain't nobody doing anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if all the hierarchy were there. And they're all waiting to see, ha ha ha, we finally got him. Mm -hmm. Show God this and that the word wasn't smart enough and they heard that roll of thunder and and they were like oh first of all there's no weather you know? it's like what, what it, it sounds awfully familiar yeah. and from when they were shot out of heaven the first time right and and when the the presence of of God, the Holy Spirit came upon Jesus that he melted the face of the hierarchy and the, all of them that were leaning in so close to see what's going to happen. Oh, we can't wait to tear him up and to mutilate him more. Torture and torture and torture. And they're all leaning in. <laughs> Making sure I get really good to see. And I, Kat Kerr cracks me up because she was saying that the smaller demons were being pushed to the back because mm -hmm. the big demons, were the, you know, the hierarchy is trying to get right in the front and the, the little yeah, demons are all, all like, I want to oh. be able to get the principalities, right? I mean, yeah, that's your, that's, that's Legion and all them. They're mm -hmm. like, well, you know, they're in the front and you got the little demons being like, I can't see, I can't, I can't see. And they're all laughing. Nobody cares that you can't see. And when Jesus sat up, like lifted his head and lifted his hands, fire just came out and melted their faces. They all take up running, but the little demons were, they had the head start and they take up, they're running like, I'm just glad I wasn't in the front. And they were just getting tore up melted. <laughs> and melted their faces. And that's why, um, you know, you see a lot, of, if you, if you can, if you ever see a demon, why a lot of them look melty and, and ugly and hideous. They just look hideous and horrible and ugly. Whereas people, they'll say, well, they see Satan and he looks so beautiful and this and that. That's why God says in the Bible, it says, don't marvel at him. You know, so what if he looks a certain way? He's pure evil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, they, they were absolutely, <laughs> Jesus said they were, I say they're absolutely, and Jesus said, surprised, <laughs> like surprised. <laughs> They were absolutely surprised. <laughs> Surprise gift. <laughs> Here's a gift for you. <laughs> a taste of what's to come. <laughs> Let that be a reminder to you. A constant reminder to you. They can't fix themselves. They can't make themselves look different. Make themselves look pretty again. Nope. nope. <laughs> no, you don't get to. I love that, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we thank you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. In the passion uh, uh, of Jesus Christ, when when Jesus is uh, has been resurrected, and how if you if you've seen it, how Jim, Jim Caviezel, you know, is sitting there with his eyes closed, and then as he opens them, and it's just like. <laughs> I'm doing it, but you can't see what I'm doing. But <laughs> but as he looks out, like that was a lot, <laughs> you know. But I, I had that sense of it is literally done. The moment 
all coming to that that wrap up there neatly in a package neatly done it's like there's a little even like a sigh <sighs> and then he gets up with that face like time to get to business because what is what is he doing it's time to empower my people it's time that they get empowered hallelujah jesus we just thank you we thank you we thank you we thank Oh, we thank you so much, Jesus. We thank you. Yes, they are. Uh, Taylor said, I believe they're working on the resurrection movie. Yes, they are. And actually, what was even funnier was that, and, and I believe Kat Kerr is working on it with them because Kat Kerr actually prophesied it because God told her a long time ago. And now they're actually working on it. And I think it's supposed to come out next year. She had been prophesying that for yeah, a, a very long time. <laughs> God is so good. I just want to go back through here because I, we're going to pray um, and whatever God else, else, I'm sorry, whatever else God wants us to do, we're going to do that. Um, but I just want to read, Trisha said, I came in feeling off, oh, just negative attitude, irritable, in an ugliness. And I knew I had to get it off of me. I came in all demonic attacks off me in Jesus name and just kept singing and praising him, surrendering all until I was breaking down, crying as I kept giving it all to him. Yes, Jesus is freedom. He is. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Hallelujah. Taylor said, y'all, I guess I got to share a funny. I was singing, let your spirit move. Let your spirit move. Holy spirit flow. Holy spirit flow. Long story short, I started out with two dogs in the room and now we're down to one dog. <laughs> I was like, I, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm leaving. She, she done gone wild. <laughs> uh Tell us, I'm sure profanity, profanities were being said when they heard that thunder. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure that's right. They were they were terrified. What is that? Shivers down their yeah, spine. They were absolutely petrified. Like, did you just hear that? <laughs> did you hear that? And did you feel that? That sounds a whole lot like it's <laughs> bringing back flashbacks, PTSD. <laughs> Um, lo all love and all fierce, all in one incredible savior. Yes. yes. Um, Taylor said, I believe they're working on the kid. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lord, we just thank you. We just thank you. We just thank you. I have some things that I wanted to bring to. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Woo. I almost forgot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A couple things. Um, very interesting. Actually, I just want to say this. Very, very interesting and maybe somebody the lord will give you some insight but last night for about an hour this morning really as i was asleep but i was asleep but i was awake and it's like in that in between awake and asleep and i and i was um i knew i was but i was also dreaming but i but at the same time I knew what was going on around me. Like I could hear Custer doing things and you know, all that. And, but I, but for like an hour straight, I kept dreaming and or hearing and seeing a note, like a, um, like Apple notes, a note that, and it said more than what I remembered, but I kept hearing off the coast fracking and, six hundred billion dollars and i was like and i mean just it just kept and i remember the first time when i first heard it and saw it and it was more that was written it was written in a note and i thought i need to wake up and write that down but i could not wake up and write that down i ended up staying there and i just kept hearing it for like an hour off the coast fracking six hundred billion dollars and you just kept doing that you imagine how many times i heard that it was like off the coast fracking Six hundred billion dollars, and I'm like, I need to get up and write that. I just kept thinking, I need to get up and write that. And I saw the note, and I honestly believe, and I don't know one hundred percent, but I believe that it said off the coast of the Atlantic. But I was like, I can't remember, so I didn't write it down as a sure thing. But I was like, I know for a fact the thing I continued to hear was off the coast fracking six hundred billion dollars. So I don't know if that's going to be something that um, is going to come out. Um, that they're gonna say i have no clue all i know is that it felt random but it's nothing's random 
you know, with the Lord. And I had already had a very interesting, I need to say other prophets have been saying, watch the waters in the Atlantic. Mm. Watch the waters in the Atlantic. Boy, I'll tell you what, I will be, I will be giggling for real if, if I hear something about off the coast in the Atlantic that they were, they were doing some kind of fracking out there and it was a $600 billion dollar industry or something like that i will be giggly 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 i'll be uh you would have thought i won the super bowl i don't play no sport but i'd be out there running like yes i knew i heard it for an hour ain't nobody ever gonna tell me nothing. i know it. <laughs> it was like an hour i was hearing it for like an hour like an hour a whole hour until until i was able to get up like i couldn't even wake up because it was like just continuous mm -hmm. and i'm like i need to get up and write that i need to get up. i kept saying i need to get up and write that can't get up off the coast fracking i mean it's just like it was like a recording off the coast fracking 600 billion dollars i'm like oh i need to get up and write that off the coast fracking 600 billion dollars oh i need to get up i gotta get up and write that i see the note oh what does it say i'm reading it i gotta get up and write that off the coast fracking 600 billion dollars i'm like okay i just gotta get up i gotta get up off the coast i'm like it just kept happening I'm like then when finally I got up I'm like okay I'm gonna write down everything can't remember Jack except off the coast rocking and 600 million dollars I'm like it was definitely definitely in my soul <laughs> um <laughs> right. that's all i remember I had, and i, I remember what it was but I, it was very important <laughs> i don't remember what my dream was but i knew it was important take that you know right <laughs> but so I'm like, hmm, and I didn't, I didn't know if that's going to be a part of financial recompense. I, I, I don't, I just, I don't know. Lord, I just, I surrender that to you. Yes, Lord. I don't know. I don't know. But I will tell you, I want to tell you the dream I had right before this, because I woke up. Oh, this is crazy. This is actually funny. After when I woke up from the from this dream, I lit. I instantly forgot it. I woke up and instantly forgot it because I was had to write the dream that I had. I woke up and said, "I need to write that dream I had," and it was about the dream prior. I wake up and I get right in that dream, and then I then I heard in my spirit off the coast fracking. I went, "Oh my gosh!" I was like, "That was real." I was like, "Off the coast fracking, six hundred billion dollars," <laughs> and I'm like, "That was I forgot." And then it just all came back to me like that happened for like an hour. I literally forgot all about it when I woke up out of that. And I thought the only thing I remember was I need to write down the dream that happened right before that. I thought I was even awake when I was hearing the off the coast bracket. I was wondering why I'm not getting up. I'm awake that I'm hearing it and I need to get up, but I can't. I can't get up and I can't do anything. Into your spirit, man. Oh. And. I'm like, $600 billion, I have no clue. But Lord, I just thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. And I believe the Lord's saying even right now, because I just heard him. Because hey, you know what Taylor just said? I know President Trump has talked about mm -hmm. he when he takes over a dig baby, dig, that that the the world is going to is going to buy oil from is going to buy crude oil from America. Mm -hmm. The Lord just he just said that to me that America they're going to buy oil from America. I don't I and and so Lord we just receive it right now. But Lord I I just thank you for revelation. Yes. Oh my goodness! Can you imagine if that was the six billion dollars that comes oh. into America? Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Lord, I just thank you. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Oh, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Because, and I believe other oil sources are going to dry up. God's going to dry those oil sources. So they're not going to have a choice. Oh, Lord, I just thank you. I just thank you. We just, oh, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Yes. That we just say, have your way, Lord. Have your way. Six hundred yes. billion dollars. Yes. Your will be done. Your will be done. Not, Jesus. Not Jesus. 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 Mm -mm -mm. God, you are so good. I did. The Lord said. <laughs> the Lord said, "I know where all the oil is." Yes, yes he, he does. does. <laughs> <laughs> he knows where it all is. Hallelujah. 
He un hashana na monsunda krasha se bokura na manande se diri biando kusha tabakari mununo bokusha na makrande bosunda ndi krasa. She mununo bosukura na manande krisi viki anda bashi to bokusande. Jaru bokusana na maye te vikrande sukusha tabasiti. And the Lord says, and I will blow into the drilled sources and reroute the flow of the oil. Watch and see. Watch and see, says the Spirit of the Lord. I have the ability to reroute the oil flow and it shall flow for my people. It shall flow. It shall flow. It shall flow. The Lord says, and what do you all call that oil? Black gold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> he said, gold, watch gold, watch gold, watch gold, right? You hear that over and over and over and over and over? Every prophet saying, watch the gold, watch the gold, the gold, the gold, the gold. He says, and what do you call that oil? Black gold. <laughs> Praise his holy name. God is so cool. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Jesus, we just thank you. <laughs> we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 He's the Lord saying his, his nations, nations will not be bankrupt. Amen. They will not be bankrupt. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. Those who cry out to you, Lord, that you shall move your mighty hand because that's who you are. Who you are and what you said you would do. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and I just hear the Lord saying, that I will break, 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 break the poverty spirit yeah. and the spirit of bankruptcy <laughs> off of my nations. The yoke shall be completely broken and severed. <laughs> Sending the oxen running in jubilee and freedom. Hallelujah. For they shall no longer carry the burden of extensive and extreme debt, but they shall be free to carry my burden which is light, says the Spirit of the Lord, continue to proclaim it, and you will see it on this earth in your lifetime, says the Spirit of the Lord, a great and mighty turnaround. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise your name. You know, it actually reminds me now. Holy Spirit reminded me now. I don't know anything about anything that he said. The Charlie Champ is what I'm going to tell you. I don't remember anything he said except the one portion I remember, he said that when he looked, and I think he was talking about in 2025, he said in, in 2025, I believe, he said when he looked, there was a new currency and he thought it was a phone. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. He thought it was a phone. Oh my gosh. I have to go to the, 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 the dream that I had where it looked like a phone. I have to go to that. Hold on. Oh my goodness. I don't know if they're connected, but I have to say this other dream. Okay. Hold on. Wait, let me stop. Let me go back. Charlie Shamp said he saw the new currency for America and he looked, it looked like it was a phone. He thought it was a phone, how it looked, but it was the new currency for America. And he said, it, I mean, it was beautiful, but it looked new or advanced. It wasn't the same old what it was. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like global money, but it was new. Um, I don't know if it's about the red phone. I'm so sorry. I don't know anything else that he actually said. Um, I don't know, but I think I walked in my mom's room or something like that when he was talking from Elijah's dreams and I heard him say that he saw the currency. I don't know. I really just don't know, but I'm sure if you go to his website that it should be made available if you kind of search or even Google, you might be able to just Google search or something. Um, Taylor said, that's a confirmation when you first mentioned it. I was like, Lord, I hope that's for us because the U.S. is in serious debt. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Rachel said, yes, her in Canada, here in Canada too. Trudeau's packing and giving it away instead of helping us. He's actually taxing us. Well, he's, well you're not taxing you to death, but <laughs> you're, you're going to be perfectly fine. God said his, his nations, his nations, Canada is one of God's nations as well. Hallelujah. It's not, yeah, it's not just America, but yes. Um, until I thought you mentioned 
a, a red phone on our tree. I'm a real, real. I said real, not red. But yes, that's the one I'm getting ready. The one I told you this morning. That's the one I had. I woke up to have, I woke up from a dream. I woke up from the fracking thing and then went to write down this dream about communications and travel. So I wrote in here, so at 7, 17 a.m., I woke up to write about this and I entitled it communications and travel machine. So I said, I dreamt about a machine that people had given up hope about and it looked like an old school phone it was, and it was massive. It was huge. Like that thing I had when we first got a cell phone? No, no, no. It, it honestly didn't. It didn't have an appearance. I mean, it's hard to explain. It looked, if I can say it like this, you know how the Razor phone closes, mm -hmm. like how it closes and becomes closed? Yeah. Well, it was like if you, oh, the part where your ear and your mouth go, look, it, they were so huge. It was like plates, you know? And so it would close, but on the plates. You, know what you see what I'm kind of saying? It almost looks like a, a clamp. That has plates on the end, and you could open it and use it to talk into like that. It was very strange, but that's what I was thinking. It looked like a phone, but it was looked old, and and I'm like, huh. Well, in the dream, I was a I was a different person. I was a, I was I was a blonde haired white woman, and I began. Run, I remember I was running down a hallway like these corridors, and I was looking around me, and I knew I needed to get to this machine. And I didn't know what it looked like yet, but I was running down the hallway to get to this machine. And, and I knew I wasn't supposed to be on this floor. I knew that it was all very um, secretive. I knew I could be um, in a lot of trouble or killed for being up there. And I, I was able to sneak into the room where this machine was at and the machine wasn't working and it never worked is what they were, what we were told is that it never worked. Well, I went over to it and I found out where it was jammed at. I went right to this part that I just knew had to be the part that was causing it. Yeah, I know where you got it too. She said, well, I know where I got the red from. Yes, I'm about to get to that. So I went to this part where it was like a tube that was a part of it. And it was the tube was fr frozen cold. And I yanked the tube off and when I yanked, and it was clear, I could see through it. When I yanked the tube off, I could see inside there were these frozen red pills inside it, frozen red pills, and they were massive. And I shook them out onto my hand to dislodge it. Red pills. And I was like, when I began talking to my mom about this, this morning I said what does it mean to be red pilled wait a minute I'm just I was like that's coming to me what, what I'm like it's like oh it's the truth mm -hmm. in the matrix it mm -hmm. was the truth mm -hmm. and these were massive red pills but they were frozen they were on ice the tree. <laughs> and it's like that and if you see the prophetic yeah the prophetic parallel of it that it the truth is on ice the truth is frozen and it's keeping the the telecommunications that's what I called it. A tele, I called it a telecommunication device. And I remembering it, I called it this, it was like called like a telecommunication device and it was jammed. You could not, it was, it was on ice, on ice. You know, when, when we say something's on ice, it's like oh, that, that we're, we're waiting for that, or that's, you know, that's being put away or it's being, you know, sleeping with the fishes, depending like the on how you want to put it. Right. Like being held back yeah and and so well this was this was this was the people who were evil were the ones who froze these pills i knew it and when i had opened it and i pulled out those large pills and put them in my hand this man showed up he was at the doorway as soon as i put it in my hand i knew that this is what's keeping this from going and i put the machine back i put that piece back on the machine and it started up and i heard this noise first clap slow clap i looked up and it was a man standing in the doorway and he was just like congratulations and he was clapping very slow and i knew he had come to murder me and i he said congratulations you got it to work and and i knew in that moment that the company knew that that machine could work 
but that they didn't allow it to work on purpose so that they could cash the money in from donations mm -hmm. and from research mm -hmm. donations. Mm -hmm. And I was able in that moment to see into the future. And that's when I knew like he would kill me and take my body and dump me somewhere. I was able to see it happen. And I, I got up. And in that moment, when I stood up slowly, I came out, I came out of that dream. And when I came out of that dream, I went straight into that other dream, <laughs> that other dream where I was in between awake and asleep. And when I woke up completely and I began to write this dream about cancer research was one of the first ones that came to me. Um, and one of the things when that came to me and I, and I was, I began to write these things down. The Lord spoke and he said, find out everything you can do. And it was like, I heard it in the spirit. He said, find out what you can do to boost your immune system and do it. And nothing crazy. I'm not talking about going to get anything crazy or spending a trillion dollars. There's a lot of things that can boost your immune systems. Garlic is one of them. Um, you know, zinc. I even heard the Lord even saying vitamin C every day. Okay. So vitamin D. Uh, yep, vitamin D. Those things that you need to put into your body if it's just eating things that you should eat. Mm -hmm. You know, not because you need to be afraid, but if your immune system's low and you're trying to boost your immune system, you know, every supplement in the world ain't going to help necessarily. Because the thing is with pills, when you take pills of things, is that a lot of the times it just runs through your urine. Your body dumps it very fast. Mm -hmm. But if you take it in ways that you eat it, mm -hmm. then it gets, and you're chewing it, it's able to go through your body the right way because that's how right. God created it to be. It's, the supplements go out very quickly. But if you're putting in food, those nutrients actually get into the bloodstream because that's what happens with food when you digest food mm -hmm. is that the food goes, it breaks down and becomes nutrients that flows through your right. bloodstream and not in a form of a pill that gets into, that just, you know, is, is easily runs through your urinary tract, which is like if you take a pill that has a, a color to it and the next time you go to pee you notice that it's either if it's like a yellow pill you can see way more yellow or whatever and you shouldn't really see yellow at all it should be clear but just 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 saying if you do urinate and it's yellow it should be clear so drink more water okay um a lot of times it's just the pill but the right well i mean as i'm saying you know if it's if it's the pill then that, that's what i'm mm -hmm. saying you see the how quickly that comes out and the hard vitamins um, get. right so you want to make sure that it's through foods that you should be eating, you know, especially for, because he created the herbs not to be like, this is my thing that I need to eat all the time, but it's the, he created it for medicine. Mm -hmm. So we, we the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Yep. The leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Exactly. So that, that was like something he just spoke that so clear mm -hmm. to me. And I was like, yes, Lord. Uh, and I actually meant to text that to Margie, but then immediately after I was going to text that to Margie, I was like, <laughs> offshore fracking, <laughs> was like $600 billion. And that happened to me. And I ended up writing that. And I, it was just, it was a lot this morning, but I, 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 I believe what the Lord is saying, even to this dream is that the red pills, the truth have been frozen to prevent the truth from coming forth, which we know mm -hmm. um, the truth is, you know, on ice, but it's being unthawed. When I put it in my hand, what happens when you put ice in your hand? I mean, it immediately begins to melt. It immediately begins. You can't hold it on for an hour. I mean, it's going to melt mm -hmm. and be gone, you know, <laughs> it's gonna, but it's just how quickly that the truth is, is, is going to come out. But I immediately began praying for the protection of the whistleblowers because mm -hmm. I knew as yeah. that, when I was that woman, I knew it's if I, I there's only one way in and out and he's standing in the way and I knew he was coming for me I honestly saw my life was going to be over and it reminded me so much of that man um from the Boeing company mm -hmm. how they said he killed himself right. second day that he was to testify against them and they did plead guilty to what that man was saying that they were doing because mm -hmm. they really were doing it and killing him didn't matter. This truth still came out, but praying for these people, 
praying for these people, the martyrs of truth. I, I mm -hmm. just, Lord, we just thank you for their yeah. protection. I, you know, I, you know what? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm -mm -mm. You know, I don't know. Holy Spirit just reminded me of something. In the, in the newer Star Wars, there's like three, three movies. In the second movie, when they were on the run, the the rebellion was on the run, and they had very limited fuel to get away. They couldn't go into hyperdrive because they were being tracked. There really wasn't much of anything they could do but try to run and maybe devise a plan to get them to safety. And the, unfortunately, there was there's discord amongst the rebels who are they're rebelling against evil. There's discord in there because there's not there's distrust in the ranks. There's distrust in the groups. So you got those who want to just run out there and go do something hot headed and just not trying to just sit down and and not try to be in charge when you're not. That wasn't the role given to you. So and it. it and the Lord's just preaching to me right now how in the body of Christ, it's the same. You know, they're they're trying to get to safety, but you got people who don't don't trust. They don't trust God enough. So they're just running right running into battle. They're just thinking that we just need to go do this. We just need to go do that. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I would have gotten everybody killed. Thankfully, the plan that they originally had was able to go through. And that plan was the main ship was the ship that they were tracking and shooting. The shields had only so much left to protect the ship. The captain decided that the crew of 400 would go into the escape pods and escape to a nearby area that was a base of theirs. And while they're escaping, the enemy would not know because they'd be tracking down the main ship and shooting the main ship and she would continue to pilot it until they kill her and she'd be the distraction. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately that plan doesn't fully work. They end up finding out because you had two people who still tried to do what they wanted to do. And early on, because they did not trust and I just feel like the trust is one of the biggest things they did not trust. And they ended up trusting someone they didn't really know. And when they got into a bind, the person that they didn't really know ratted them out and turned them over for money, <laughs> for gain, for his life. And the information that they gave him in secret was what told they he ends up telling to the enemy and so they find out oh they're trying to use these escape pods we're going to shoot and kill them in the escape pods so you have so so unfortunately the action of two cost almost i mean it was majority of them maybe with 350 people their lives it was only 400 of them for crying out loud and i believe in this time what the lord's saying in this time as those who are awake are few and yes, it seems like we're on that run where we're like, we need to be strategic right now. We need to just keep moving forward. You have some people who just run out of rank and they just go doing whatever they think is right. And unfortunately, it's, I mean, it's just like what scripture says. There's a way that seems right unto a man, but at the end of it, there's destruction. And that's literally what you see playing out and it's unfortunate, but we have people who, and I and I want to bring this back into the, the 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 dream. We have people who are behind enemy lines, and no matter what you might think, you might think that they're evil because you didn't like what they said, or somebody said they were evil. The truth is, you don't know. You don't know if. Even if let's say they were doing what was wrong and they turn around, that's part of one of the things that made the last part of Star Wars so great was because it mirrored the first part of the Star Wars where you had the good 
Jedi who turned and became evil and he became Darth Vader. Well, I think it was like his down in his bloodline somewhere, great grandson, Kylo Ren, who was a good Jedi who turns in and becomes evil. But because someone dared to believe the vision that they saw, the vision that was given through the force, through, through God. So somebody dared to speak life into that person and not to say they're just all evil and we should just, you know, discard them. He turned completely and helped destroy the Sith, helped destroy what was darkness. And though it cost him his life, he still did it. And I and I and that's the same thing. I honestly just feel like the Lord, I'm gonna just say Kamala Harris's name. Mm -hmm. Regardless of where she began, I'm not saying that she's the greatest person in the whole entire world. What I'm saying is we cannot just give up on people and think that we just know what's right and know the answer. This is the same reason why I pray for Pence, no matter, you have so many Christians who literally can't wait to just tear him apart. The truth is, I don't know. I don't. You know, but what I do him. know is, right, what I, I don't, I don't know. But what I do know is God said, pray for him. Yeah. And that's, that's the only thing I care about. I'm not going to throw shade on his name and step on his name with dirt and pull all this hearsay all over the place. Well, so-and-so said this, and, and then didn't you see how he did this and that? And he was standing here, and he had his fingers crossed, and who cares? I just, I'm just i like, I just could care less. Who cares? All I care about is what, what God's saying, and it's so important. We're in this time where everything is crucial, and we need to be careful that we're not siding with whoever to whoever comes along who says, hey, I'm here to help you, but they're not vetted. And you're just like, oh, great. Because they could be the very ones to turn you over. Mm -hmm. And like literally what happened in that movie, and I, the reason why I'm bringing it up, not because the movie is excellent and great, even though it is, is because that's what God's saying. He's paralleling that. He's the one making that segue connection. We have to be careful. We have to be careful. You can't be so quick to open your mouth. You have to really be quicker to be quiet and just listen and learn to observe and learn to sit back and hear. Holy Spirit, what are you saying? Not be so quick to counsel, not be so quick to do anything. We really need to know what God's saying because it could, it could be on a big scale or it could be just you in your own life. You start saying something to somebody and you know, well, I've known them for 12 years, but you don't really know them. They're like, oh, well, I'm saved too. And I'm this and that. And yeah, I'm, I've been red pilled. That doesn't mean that they really are. We just really need to know what God's saying. Where is their heart? Because ultimately it's about their heart, whether they wanted to do what was right or not. It's about their heart. And if their heart really wasn't right, then their heart will fail them and they will turn on you. And it's really important. And they might not turn on you to your face. It could very well be a launched attack that you don't see coming because it's just purely spiritual. Oh, it's so important whose ear you have. All of those things. Really, really important. Because we're we're right now we're few. We're few. We're few. But we're mighty because of Jesus Christ. And I'm not just talking about this group. I'm just talking about those who are awake. The ecclesia right now. It's, there's, it's few. There's few. Few. But those who are really uh, in, the, in the trenches, in the battlefield, you don't hear much from them. They're not always talking. They're not always talking. Why? Because there's a time to talk and there's a time to just shut up and be in the face of God and hearing him. I get a little one I get to wondering about when people always have something to say. How do you always have something to say? When do you listen? When are you quiet? Why is all strategy just coming straight out for everybody to hear? I wonder about those things. I wonder about those things. Especially another thing that reminded me was that, you know, I mean, even through scripture. When, where was it that God literally spoke every single day? 
where it was, there was lots of times where God said nothing to no one, or it was only the secret plans for those who were listening. I wonder about stuff like that. But I just pray, I wait, pray, and just have my ear to, to his floor. What are you saying? What are you saying, Lord? What are you saying? What should I do? Because if you think about it, one of the things that God specifically said, there's going to come a time where, where you're not going to hear all that. So you need to be able to hear him more number one, you know, not saying that people aren't used of God, and, you know, Kristen came again. So as I mentioned, no one, I'm just saying, I wonder about those things. We always need to stay relevant and have something to say. No, what's more important, more important is getting the body of Christ ready. Because all the revelation in the world about who was good and who's wrong and what, how is that going to help you when it all hits the thing? How's that going to help you? I do, you're going to hug on to the fact that I knew it was so-and-so when the stock market crashes, when this and that happens? No, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. If we can't hear God, none of that other stuff's going to matter. That's, those, things are, well, those things are fleeting. Those things will, will be gone. Not that I don't like revelation. Of course I do. But that's not the most important thing. Those things will be gone and over. And once those things are revealed and out, that's done and gone. But where is the revelation of the knowledge of his grace? Where is the revelation you had of seeking his face? Where are those things? The treasures that you store up in heaven, right? Store up your treasures in heaven where no moth, like, you know, and dust can't rot away. No moth can eat it up. But you see, that's what he's talking about. What treasure are you, treasures are you storing up? I know, you know, some people are like, I have every every revelation, every prophecy written down. And I have a, but why? But why? So that you can check them off when that happens? Look, congratulations. If it happens, when it happens, great. Still don't care. I'll just be like, wow, thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise his name. Because I never doubted you for a second, Lord. But I don't need to hold on to that. What I need to hold on is you. I need to hold on to you. And, and here's the other thing. If it doesn't happen, what, what you wrote down doesn't happen. That's why people That's why people crumble. That's why people were all up in arms last year. Or was the year before that. We we're all up in arms and screaming and calling false prophet left and right. Because this didn't happen. You said it was going to be on this particular day and that didn't happen. And, blah, 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 blah. and that's not the only thing. And it was this and that and that. And that's why there was so much crazy craziness going on. Because their hopes were in that. Let us have our feet planted on our hopes. Literally just in God and who he is. Yes, he, he gives out prophetic words. Yes, of course. Obviously, I give some of them. I'm not against it. I'm not saying I'm the only person who has prophetic words and blah. None of that either. I'm just saying that's not my main goal or my focus. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, not his prophetic word, his righteousness. That's the first thing. And then all these things will be added unto you. I can't take anything else. Because you know what? At the end, at the end of everything, Jesus specifically mentions people who say, didn't I prophesy this in your name? And those people still did not make it into heaven because it's not about that. It wasn't about that. And he says, well, <laughs> I never knew you. Depart from me, you who work your own will. That's just like a red pill or sobering moment. Why that just be the lesson? Does that mean I can't enjoy TV? I can't go do anything? No, absolutely not. Don't be ridiculous. You can go have yourself a great time. You can go stick a movie in and have a great old time. I'm not talking about that. I'm not saying you need to be a monk somewhere and then, you know, and just kumbaya. And I'm not talking about that either. I can't enjoy anything. I can't, I can't eat anything because the, the people who own this are bad. But look, 
so what? Then don't breathe the air either, because the people who are poisoning the air, I mean, who come on. Is our God greater? My God is greater than all those things. And my trust isn't in the fact that the air is clean. My trust isn't in the fact that my food was organic. My trust isn't in any of those things. And none. None of those things. I don't even buy organic food. I did at one point. And God's like, all you gotta do is bless it. Like, thank you. <laughs> Saved me half my entire building. He's like, all you gotta do is, because, because, because where's your trust? Where's your hope? My hope isn't, and girl, it was expensive. My hope, and trust me, I used to be foolish, but why? I can only buy this because it's sustainable to the earth and it's all blah, 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 blah. You know what? Thank God that that came off. He was like, why are you concerned about those things? Well, because they said that this is that. And he's like, but am I concerned about that? Well, no. He's like, where, find where I say that in the word. Can you find that in the word somewhere? Because I'll tell you what, if you find it in there, I'm like, well, it says, do not be anxious about anything, right? Don't be worried about anything. Oh, Lord, I just thank you. I just thank you. I 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 don't even know what that stands for. <laughs> the Lord said you're stepping on some people's scarves. I want to scarf me again. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. It's personal space. It's personal space. Right? Yeah. The Lord told me that I was stepping on somebody's scarf. <laughs> but I, it's it's a terminology. An it's an acronym, yeah, that, that they use at my sister's job. And it's about... Be Someone, it's a, it's an acronym, but it's basically about your personal beliefs and and your your space. <laughs> but I, you know what? Okay, I stepped on your scarf. It's okay, because you know what, the truth will set you free. Right. But I like to buy organic, and I like to buy because you trust in that. That's fine. That's between you and the Lord. But you know what? What happens when they tell you the organic was poisoned worse than everything else? Then what? You just, you don't trust them for anything else, but you trust the organic label because that's the one thing they can't lie about. Are you kidding? Really? The same people who were going to, really? I guarantee they made it worse on purpose because that's the one they made you flock to. Right. <laughs> Come on. Don't be so foolish. Well, Bill Gates bought garden of life. Exactly. They can't, they, the, all the healthy and the healthy food, I guarantee, oh, it's healthy. It's healthy to only juice. It's healthy to only have fruits and vegetables. Then why are you guys dying in the droves? Why are you all popping up with cancer? Why is your heart failing? Well, we don't want to talk about those things. We just push those things on the run. No carbs. Really? That was one of the main things they ate. Well, that was back in the day. And boo, don't want to believe it. So God was like, only back in the day, back in the Old Testament, where you were allowed to eat carbs because that was real. Right. <laughs> Literally, no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against me shall be refuted. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to bless my food. Yes, I will make my efforts to do, to, to make my food. I I bake and cook from scratch all that because I don't like packaged things because they're just ridiculous absolutely ridiculous in everything that they put in it sodium why is the sodium at one trillion why for a noodle like <laughs> it doesn't make any sense and besides it tastes like junk so yeah I don't like that stuff but I trust in Christ Jesus and everything because you don't know what what they're gonna come out and tell you you don't know what the truth will be you have no clue I have no clue but when the truth comes out people are gonna be mortified 
And what are you going to do? Throw all your food out? Throw it all, burn it? Hold, go on an all air diet? Oh, can't have that because it was poison. Holding my breath and you'd be dead. You know? <laughs> Don't be worried. Don't be afraid. Don't. I'm just thankful that God is who he says he is above all things. I want to read the scripture that Denise put in here. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 19. When there are many words, transgression and offense are unavoidable, unavoidable. But he, who, come on, girl. But he who controls his lips and keeps thoughtful silence is wise. Thank you for adding that, that verse. Because exactly. Is wise. I don't take the time to argue with people. I don't, I don't care. But what about this? Am I, I, I don't care for 500, Dan. <laughs> I don't care. I don't get into theology debates. I, I just, I don't deal with sophisticated argument. I just don't. So those are worthless and they, they produce nothing. But what about that person that's going to walk away and not know truth? They already don't know truth and they can't discern truth. And if they really want to know truth, instead of trying to come and argue it, they would have just simply asked the truth maker, the one who is truth. Remember Pontius Pilate? What is truth? Standing right in front of you. He's standing right in front of you. Tells her that's interesting because I get worried about the prophets who always have something to say, to share. Yeah, I get right concerned. Wait, why? Why are you on here 10 times just today? What? Stop giving me notifications. I have 20 trillion. How do I unsubscribe from that? I just don't want that to come up every five seconds. I'm over here trying to read. Now, Squanto went ding, 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 ding. I'm like, sorry, guys. I can't even read it because I got people popping up 10 million times. How? So and so's live on here and there and here and there and there and here. And if you wanted to, you can click here. Would you like to continue to have these updates? No. And send me an email on top of it, bro. I don't know what I did, but stop doing that. <laughs> email at capacity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, because what if something, some things are supposed to be covert. Exactly. Jesus only told his disciples about his plans. Well, that's what Jesus specifically said, that the servants don't know what the master is doing, but his friends do. That's mm -hmm. what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. And who is his friends? Obviously not everyone. Not everybody. Um, our hope is in Jesus, not, not prophecy. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's in Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. I had a family member who wouldn't drink water here because it was filtered, but the light for the filter was saying here because it was filtered, but the light for the filter <laughs> was saying it needed change. Like I just buy <laughs> what goes in my body and leave it at that. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. And leave it at that and leave it at that. <laughs> and leave it at that the things don't defile you that goes in is what comes exactly out he's that's exactly what jesus that's said he thing. said you guys are arguing and all up in arms about that food was given to was given to idols and it was da da da. and he was like don't he, he was like literally like are you guys like thick in the mind you thick in the head do you not pay attention to jack squat he was like don't you realize that the food that you eat is not what defiles you? You know, what does defile mean? It's not defiling your body. It's not, you know, oh, well, if I eat it and it was done, da, da, that means I sinned and I, see, that's a sophisticated art, all of that stuff. He's like, don't you realize that that's not what defiles you? It's the words that come out of your mouth no, from because your they're coming exactly from your soul. That's why he's like, get your soul right. The more it became acceptable to say whatever in the world you want to say, I, mm -hmm. you just look at how much sickness is mm -hmm. in people's bodies. We know when we go through, when we go through deliverance and stuff like that, you know, we never once say it was the food you ate. It doesn't even say that in the Bible. It was because he ate that one thing that was good. The demoniac, he became de demonized because he ate da, 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 da. No, it doesn't say that. It's because of what is coming out of your soul. You got soul wounds, you got hurts and all. That's what produces the disease. That's what produces the sin. Why? Because the demon attached to it, it's their assignment. Those, those diseases, those sickness are their character. 
that's their character. And then they just want you to act like them. So you put it on you so that you can be like them. And they're they're living their life through you. They like sickness, decay, death. They like vomit and all that stuff. They like that. They like every detestable thing. Every single one. They like that. They like when the body breaks down. They like it. I can see you miserable. Mm -hmm. They like those things. And they are in fear. So we gotta put they are in all, all those things. Exactly. That's why you got to send them packing. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put that. Exactly. Put them on a, under dormant. Come out of alignment and agreement with them. Point, point it down. Yes, I am. Right. They want to be like, Jesus, you, you're not going to end it 20 minutes before the time. Jesus, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus should have been like, nah, I ain't, but Maybe. I know this fire group later. <laughs> That's going to tear you up. <laughs> I know some fire people who are going to tear Why you up because you got cat cur teaching all kinds of, but you see <laughs> teaching people to get their souls healed and all that and, and teaching them rightful up. authority and how to kick the devil's butt yeah. you got people like Kay Sousa doing the same thing you got this got ministry like here Bell. doing the same thing the same saying it with me all right <laughs> you got people here like just like us because it's important that's that's how we're going to change people's lives it's not going to be a sermon it's not going to be it's going people going to be set free Lives are going to be changed. Mm -hmm. uh, Trish said, I was just, just talking to Claire about this yesterday. Opened her eyes. Uh, you know, Taylor, listen here, not before and against me shall prosper. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I'm singing it today. Yes. And he won't drink while he eats because he read that any liquid will water down the stomach. I said, yeah, that's, that's so, it's so silly. All of that. Any liquid you eat will, will, they're saying, will water down your stomach acid. Actually, it produces more stomach acid. Water produces more stomach acid. That's why if you're hungry, drinking water mist makes you more hungry until you're full because you don't have space in your stomach. But it doesn't change the fact that drinking water makes more stomach acids. It does. Same thing, people are like, oh, if you, if you chew gum, then it'll curb your appetite. Actually, because it creates saliva, okay. it creases, increases your stomach oh, yeah. acid. If mm -hmm. it just, just literally read, go find an elementary health book that talks yeah. about the body. And you'll find out that majority of people lie to you all yep. day, all Always. day, because they get clicks, views, and money. Mm -hmm. And then people share it all day. All day. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, they aren't there to hear truth. They're, they're there to argue. Exactly. They're there to argue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Uh, James is doing a carnivore diet. And I'm like, bro, this, is, this ain't, ain't sustainable. It really is actually is dangerous to your body because it is your body wasn't made to do that. And I know people will, like, you can lose weight, of course, but it, at what cost? Mm -hmm. At what cost? Because when you know the, I think down. I think Atkins was one of the one of those where at, at what? Yeah, the guy the guy who created it, right? Mm -hmm. The guy who created Atkins died. I mean, you died because that stuff's not sustainable. It might you might feel better because the weight is off you, but it that starts to damage and destroy you. Mm -hmm. Um, that's like like I was just saying about the juicing thing, all that stuff, you know it begins to kill you mm -hmm. and and Too much actual much nurses much who are coming out against it and talking about how they die of the people die of malnutrition because it's the chewing of the food mm -hmm. that is that that activates the body to start to 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 store and and use the nutrients in the food it's that chewing and the saliva and all those things. When you're drinking your food, you're just peeing out. You're not getting nutrition in your body. That's not sustaining or holding nutrition. Then these people die of malnutrition. And people would think, how? They're eating like 7 trillion carrots a day. Well, I mean, there was that guy who talked about, oh, the, 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 the uh, what is it? A better way? The be in health man. He was talking about one of his childhood friends hit that his father that his friend's father who died from juice from eating carrots and also just eating mm -hmm. eating a bunch of carrots trying to heal his body 
Well, he died of, of carotene poison because oh, that's what's in carrots. Yeah, too much. Too much. I mean, you. Too much beta carotene. Yeah, beta carotene. Okay. Yeah. OD on vitamin C. Yeah. My, my, cancer my mom said that a friend of hers had, he OD'd on vitamin C. He kept eating a bunch of vitamin C thinking it was going to heal the cancer in his throat. But eventually it destroyed his liver and kidneys. Toxic, yeah. It became toxic and killed him. I mean, it just, it's, that stuff's not, we have to be careful. You got to be wise, and you know? Do anything he can to trick us into killing ourselves. Hallelujah. Lord, we just, ourselves. we just thank you, oh, Lord, you. for okay. wisdom. Exactly. Yeah. For wisdom, yeah. for wisdom, for wisdom, moderation. You know, okay. if you're going to have, if you're going to have, you know, spinach or a dark leafy green because of the nutrients, fine, whatever, do whatever you want. Moderation. It's when that becomes, you get where you become lopsided and you're no longer balanced mm -hmm. then you start putting your body into whack saying oh not going to give you any carbs not going to give you blah 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 start changing the way the body is supposed to be and then and and and, and i have to say this because holy spirit is, is pushing me changing the way the body is supposed to be to fit an image that was not made to be to begin with All right and that's that's so interesting because we are so brainwashed. And I know that Kat Kerr said that <laughs> that they're gonna they're gonna have to do um, detoxifying programs to debrainwash mm -hmm. us. That we're gonna they're, that they're gonna stop all programming on TV and put on like a deprogramming thing and and you need to watch it so that you can get deprogrammed you've been mm -hmm. so programmed and i actually have Edition a, a a old magazine that um cuz i i love old literature but i have an old magazine from the 20s that talked about it said in a commentary that women who look like women this is what it mm -hmm. literally what it said women who look like women now detest us and we 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 hate women with full hands and a full body we want bone and gristle we want our women to look like little girls that was from the 20s mm -hmm. and then from the 20s on that no breast very Thin and skinny and and bony that became began pushing that mm -hmm. and pushing that and girdles and corsets and doing all these things mm -hmm. became more and more and more and more and more and more yeah. then they got oh smoke to help you do all yeah. these things to smoke help you lose weight all this mess i mean smoke while you're pregnant that'll help you to and th that's a brain i mean that's brainwashing mm -hmm. so so the figure of women, if Became just looking at how that is, mm -hmm. it's, and uh, you know what? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit just said, if you look in scripture, it talks about how they didn't want their, when they didn't want their women to get wider hips mm -hmm. and they didn't want their women to get wider hips and, and thighs and belly. So they would have them when they got pregnant. So they would have them drink, drink, drink this. Mm -hmm drink so that they would lose the baby so that their women can stay Teenager. the size of whatever teenager. teenager size yeah because they didn't want their women's body to mature that's that's back and that's the same demonic spirit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. same demonic spirit so they have yeah. what is that body dysphoria yeah was it body dys dysphoria you said yeah yeah where you get this mindset of how you should look because they're telling you how a person how, how a woman's supposed to look how mm -hmm. how's whatever we mm -hmm. don't we Back don't know mm -hmm. because what they're telling you they're like oh based on your weight you're da, 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 da. but then america's the only one that uses this particular system and it's all these there's so many things that we'll find out but it's best now to just cast all those cares off and just say lord let me just be let me just be who you call me to be heal my body yeah. heal me in my mind because not only it's like they like they want the women to look like little girls but now they want them to look like little boys because that's it's that's a yeah. it's a demonic mm -hmm. agenda they want you look like like look like boy i mean it's just it's all pedophilia and is that that was the whole point and then they get they change over the man also to want uh -huh. It reprograms the mind to want a certain, they want 
a little boy look or a little girl look. And that's why we see so many pedophiles today. Mm -hmm. And it just, mm -hmm. because the mind has been programmed to think and want to lust after unnatural things, mm -hmm. just as it had been. Because so what is Bible, act. Bible says, says that what was will be again. Mm -hmm. And so just like it says, they want to unnaturally had unnatural desires and mm -hmm. unnatural affections. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's the same, same, same demonic same spirit. spirit. It's the same demonic spirit. So um, that is just food for thought. <laughs> Lord, we just thank you. I just bring it, bring it all before you that you would have your way and, and just put people's minds at ease about what they, so that, thank you, Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit saying, so that people can be healed, that women can be healed. Because the truth is, if you can't be healed in your perception of, what you look like you have a really hard time ministering to other people mm -hmm. so Lord we just we just surrender it all before you yeah. all of it all of it all of it we thank you <laughs> thank you Jesus you know the Jesus just said he said <laughs> is that an Esther <laughs> I think it is <laughs> And Esther, it's, he said, so many people take it out of context this is what he said, but he, he said, he said this, the verse where she has a, a, a nice figure. So it says she has a nice figure and he would say, so many people take that out of context. And I made me laugh and I'm like, is that Esther? I think it is Esther. Where is <laughs> because you know what? We don't know what that means. <laughs> we don't know what that means. People are like, oh, gotta look like Esther. You don't know what Esther looks like, bro. <laughs> you don't know what she looks like. Right, look like right, look like a flock of goats, right? I'm sorry, what you just say? <laughs> we was having a good time, and then you started. What you say? <laughs> Lord, I just thank you, Hallelujah. <laughs> I thank you, Lord. Purify our minds. Let us, yes. let us renew our minds in Christ Jesus, Hallelujah. That the Mother Army will rise up from her shame. Yes. Oh my goodness, from her shame. How many times women are like, oh, I had those kids, they ruined my body and they this, this, that. Now. now I never look good again. Now I'm always fighting to look a certain way, et cetera, et cetera, whatever. Oh, the lies of the enemy. Because now now the blessings of God now, now turn into a curse. <laughs> oh, Jesus, we just, we just thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord said, even saying, they aged me. Don't say that, Lord. We lose that from yes, our soul. Do. Don't say that. Don't say that. Hallelujah. Yeah. Don't say that you, you are not aging. Hallelujah. Oh, you're you maturing in Christ like Jesus. Jesus. Uh-huh. And your strength is being renewed. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And you are youthful. And you are important. And you have things to do. Hallelujah. Yeah. You have assignments to fulfill. Hallelujah. Oh, I had children. Our life's basically over. That's a lie of the devil. Hallelujah. The hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world. Do you remember that? That's a, that's, that's a saying. Yes. The hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world. Why? Because, oh my goodness, we're raising the tomorrow. We're raising the tomorrow. Hallelujah. We're, in, we're empowering the tomorrow. Yes. We are, we are, 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 are equipping the, the the tomorrow we're equipping yes. the ecclesia we're a part of bringing more into the ecclesia mm -hmm. you know and i know that 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 gets warped where people think that the more children we have and that's going to do da, 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 well then that can become very warped and they think they're going to be going to heaven because they have 15 million children that's that's not right either lord i just thank you right. that you're they're helping them to see the truth yes. oh my goodness yes. and the lord just wants us to pray and add in the 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 latter-day saints the mormons where that they would wake up to yes. truth yes. and that they would destroy that demonic yes. bible that demonic text Doctrine that is Jesus. just from the devil yes. lord i thank you that you are reaching out to them hallelujah yes that you would speak to them they begin to wake them up i mean it was what well, last year i felt like i couldn't every way i turned there was some Mormon person coming up to me everywhere I turn. I see them at the park and I see them all the time. Then all of a sudden they show up at my front door, the same people, the same two women. Like, what? That was God. 
Mm -hmm. I spoke to them every single time. They're mm -hmm. like, only our, because they believe that only their one prophet person can ever hear or know whatever, you know, but they're like, wow, 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 wow. Start talking to them. Wow. Yeah, because they keep what? waking up. You know, and they're like, they're well, how did you know that? They're how did real. you know that? Right. Because cause God talks to all of us. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, he doesn't, but I'm like, he does. Because scripture says this. Yes. You have the same Bible. I know they think their other Bible is more important, but you have the same Bible. They just tell you not to read it. Mm -hmm. But it, it's here in our newer text. I'm like, it, Jesus said, if anybody else comes. Saying another that doctor. with another doctor, that's right. Saying anything else mm -hmm. that is not real. Well, I don't know because, well, think about well, it. Pray, pray on it. Pray on it. Pray on it. Mm -hmm. Pray on it. Oh, I didn't release the anointing into those those women. They were so yeah. young. They were young. Mm -hmm. They were young. I'm like, oh, that they were have true. Gullible. Very yeah. gullible. Very. They were out on missions from Utah out here in Cincinnati. Oh. Like, Lord, I thank you. <laughs> they couldn't believe they showed up at my door. Like, what? <laughs> like, hey, how you doing? That's God had a plan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God is so good. He loves them too. God is so good. Yes. He loves everybody. They were like, we were driving by. We just felt like we had mm -hmm. to turn in here. Mm -hmm. And then they turned in there. And I'm not the first, I wasn't the first turn in. No. I was the second. Like and I wasn't right at the front. I was no. all the way in the back. <laughs> so when they coming right directly out their car to my door, I'm like, I'm looking out there, like, who's coming to my steps? I look out there. It's like these two girls' house. Mm -hmm. Jesus, what you doing? You know, I wasn't trying to hurt no company, but you know. <laughs> okay, Lord. <laughs> Ooh, let me put my hair back. <laughs> let me look presentable real quick. <laughs> real quick, like, you know. God's so good and she had brought a new girl with her and we prayed and then she saw Lily's drawing and she was touched by that she was like and Lily's like yeah we, you know we do prophetic drawings and then she was she, that moved her like, oh my goodness wow she's like can I take a picture of that yes you know and she leave here with 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 some truth know some truth hallelujah God. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hmm. It is really low. See, hold on. Can you hear me? That seems like it's a bit better. Let's see. One Can you hear me better? <laughs> all right thank you lord jesus we just thank you again we just thank you again we just thank you again even if it, if it's cutting out you know but lord i mean it'll record fine but lord i just thank you i thank you that you are good i thank you that you are pure I thank you that you're incorruptible. I thank you, Lord, that you are just. I thank you, Lord, that you are mighty. Hallelujah. And thank you that you have given us the ability to tear down strongholds. Hallelujah. That our weapons, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but that they are mighty. I am so thankful, Lord. I am so thankful for you, Jesus. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for your empowerment. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you for everything you. that you have come to do in our lives and in this earth. Lord, we ask that your kingdom come, that your will be done yes. on earth as it is in heaven, and that you have indeed given us our daily bread, that we partake of it now. We partake of yes. our appointed freedom, that you have given us our freedom. You've given us our freedom. We take it. We accept it. We receive it in every area of our life, in our, in our minds, in our emotions, in our bodies, in our finances, in our neighborhood, in our marriage, in our relationships. Hallelujah. With our family, with our friends, we receive it in our properties. We receive you. We receive that freedom. Thank you, Lord, that walls are coming down. Thank you, Lord, that you 
that you have sent out your word, that you have sent out your word for freedom in these nations, that the enemy will not continue to reign. Lord, I thank you for great, great, great provision. I thank you, Lord, that ahead of time, you already sent out the angels. I love, I just love that. I think it was Chuck Pierce, thank you, Holy Spirit, who said that he saw those 50 angels sitting around, just standing on guard, ready to do what, what God told him to do. He, that's been a couple of years now. God knows what he's doing. We don't have to be afraid of nothing. We don't have to be afraid of anything. God knows what he's doing. And he been knew what was going to happen. All we have to do is get in, into alignment and just say, yes, Lord, have your way. Have your way. Hallelujah. Have your way. We yes. thank you for supernatural divine protection. Hallelujah. On our families, on ourselves. Hallelujah. On, on, on President Trump and his family and, and Vance and his family and Pence and, yes. and his family, their friends. Lord, those who have who are standing and 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 standing for truth, Lord, for protection in their lives as well. Lord, we thank you for hearts being changed. Lord, I, we just lift up Kamala Harris before you, Lord. And we just thank you, Jesus, for what you what you are doing. Hallelujah. That that you will have your way. And you will have your way. That if she chooses you, Lord, I thank you for salvation. If she doesn't, Lord, I thank you. For all for your plan. Either way, I thank you for judgment and yes. and, and that you're gonna do what you, which what you said. He said, even when people who turn to him, they're they're not going to escape judgment, but they can have salvation. God will still give them salvation. But people aren't just yes. gonna be able to just do whatever they want to. There's gonna be punishment. Hallelujah. Lord, we just thank you. We just thank you that the that those who are for you shall be freed. Yes. hallelujah we thank you jesus hallelujah for yeah i just want to say that too lord we thank you for extreme exposure <clears throat> in every area and i want and we praying for for people who have been wronged whose family members have been murdered and all these things that have happened because of the lawlessness that has gone, just been released and wild upon this earth. Lord, I thank you for, for recompense in their lives. I thank you for protection, Lord. I thank you for rejuvenation, that they would be able to, to find you and find peace and find meaning and purpose. And yes, that grief would not drown them, Lord. I thank you that you are, you are lifting up those who have been have been struck down hallelujah lord we thank you right now for all that you're doing we thank you for your purpose your plans we put it in your hands and we love you sincerely we love you and truly lord we love you hallelujah jesus yes. we thank you again we say yes to you and amen yes hallelujah we say yes and amen, amen. lord we thank you again hallelujah lord hallelujah all right, everybody. God is good. He really is. And continue to, you know, when, when you think about it, continue to lift up those people. Continue to lift them up because truth isn't just coming out because it's, it's just falling off a table onto a news desk. People are really putting their lives on the line. They really are. And, and you got people who are losing their lives or they're in fear and not everybody's saved. So they don't have hope. What they're trying to do was right. Mm -hmm. And so we got to be there to lift them up. We got to be there to lift them up in prayer. Yes. And, and, and sin, because they could be very much a sinner. Okay. They could be very much a sinner. They could not be saved at all. They could be cursing God. You don't know, but they might find out, you know, I still got to do this. I got to do this one thing that's right, or I can't continue. They get a conviction from the Lord. I think they say, I just have to, I can't let it, can't just let it go. Can't just let it go. But I just thank you. I thank you. Not just the big names because you got big names out there, Mike Lindell, et cetera. But what about the people who don't have a name? that you know of 
who don't have a platform to tell you? What about all the nurses who stood by? You think about all the nurses who stood by, who were re secretly recording on their phones, who were fired and who were ridiculed and mocked, whose people said that they were intentionally trying to kill other people, but they were watching people being intentionally killed. Right. But because bigger names were able to put their foot on their neck and crush them and silence them and push them back and show up at their house and do all kinds of things and bend the law because they got judges in their pockets and etc. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. That truth shall prevail. It shall. And people who had their children taken away in other, other countries, Australia and Canada, et cetera, because they told the truth, not because they did anything horrible. They just told the truth sitting in jail right now. Lord, I thank you that the captives shall be set free. We thank you for that, Lord. We thank you. We just send your peace to be with them. We thank you, Jesus. Let them know that they are not forgotten. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for all that you're doing. In Jesus' precious name, amen and shalom.